Hey, it's Shari Kay, and I know it's been a while, but hello. <laughs> and the truth is, um, just to put it out there, I got discouraged. Um, I had a couple of situations happen to me, um, things that I encountered that just really discouraged me. The first one being, there was somebody within, not within my immediate circle, but within my arm's reach that asked to borrow money from me. And I say that and you might be thinking, oh, people ask people to borrow money all the time. And that may be true. However, for me, I felt that I'm sitting on here on this channel, on the internet, trying to tell my story, help people, guide them into this financial responsibility, being financial, being financially responsible. And if, if I can't even like help the people within arm's reach of me, I, I really question what am I really doing here? Um, I've moved past that and I understand that I can't help everybody. And those that are interested in this information and those that are ready for this type of information, they will be the ones to grab on. And, and it's unfortunate that I can't take everybody with me, but that is just the truth. That's just the fact everybody will not be coming with me on this journey. I thank you for coming with me on this journey though. Okay, the second thing that really made me pause was there was somebody within my circle that came up to me and they said, oh, I heard your video about, I forgot what the video was. And so I decided to sell my house. That really, you guys, half this person, spoke with me before they decided to sell their house i would have completely suggested that they hold on to their house um they ended up selling their house at a loss um i don't know if it was a short sale or a foreclosure i'm not sure but they ended up pretty much taking a hit taking a loss for selling their house and to me that made me feel that um really the responsibility that i have on this platform not that anybody gave me this responsibility but if I'm coming on here giving information about finances I am NOT a financial advisor so please let me I need to pick a disclaimer at the bottom for that but just you know the people that are listening to me and that are trusting what I say I need to make sure that the information that I give is helpful and not harmful I know I don't have control over what people do once they have the information but I do have a responsibility to make sure that what I say is beneficial. What I say is not going to hurt someone if they're to implement it versus help them. But that situation just made me take a pause. And this is the, the third thing too. I said, I said third, but the third thing too. So I've been listening. No, first I read the book, um, Killing Sacred Cows by Garrett Gunderson. And then I started listening to his YouTube channel. And it is just blowing my mind just how much wealth creation stuff that I really have no clue. Like, I have no clue about. So, within this me wanting to take uh, uh, more responsibility, I actually need to get more information. So, during this break, I've really been reading multiple books, watching lots of different videos, just getting a lot more information in the realm of personal finance and personal development as well. So those are the main reasons that um, I took a pause, um, mixed in there some reasons why I got discouraged, but I am over that. <laughs> and I realized, you know, it's not about me. It's not about me sitting up here and getting discouraged because I can't help somebody within arm's reach of me. It's not. The truth is I truly have a passion for personal finance, for personal development. And I want to share this. I want to share what I've learned over the years, what I am continuing to learn, what I know, things that I've actually experienced and gone through. I want us to get to a, almost like lifestyle design. I want us to get to a point where we've designed our lives so well that what we're doing is what we were intended to be doing, is what we are satisfied with doing, is what we um, enjoy doing. And that could be that that's that's a long shot, I know, and it's maybe but I don't think it's far off. I don't think it's unreasonable. <laughs> I I hear so many stories, I see so many people that are out here that are just not they're they're not they have not designed their life. I put it that way. They're just going through the motions. 
in my channel i talk finances i'm passionate about finances but it's really not about the money y'all it's it's not about the money it's just what the money allows you to do and i just see so many people just going through life just robotically and and it and it is a problem because it shows up it shows up as bitterness in people it shows up as unforgiveness it shows up as jealousy it shows up as envy i know money doesn't solve all issues i know that i know when the more money you have you just have rich people problems at that point i, I completely understand that but i'm tired of us having poor people problems let's let's not go into 2020 with poor people problems let's figure out ways to design our life so that we get the outcomes that we want i want to help people get their financial lives in order so that they can get to living their true lives if you want to come along with me on this journey if you have been with me on this journey i thank you so much i thank you so much i have so much more plans um i'm just excited about this y'all i'm just really excited and i'm glad that you're with me all right all the best to you